Hi, my name is Paul Senor. I'm a painter. I'm living and working in Woodstock. I think to a degree, skateboarding changed the way that I look at the built environment and my media environment, uh, which I think translated into my paintings. I'd say that still lingers in the work, in the way that I see the environment that I move through. Um, at the moment I think I'm maybe a bit more inspired by things that I see on the streets, um, like scribbles and peeling paint and this kind of forgotten, forlorn sort of parts of the city I find quite inspiring. It's very much a case of finding inspiration outside of the studio and outside of sort of traditional mediums. So I don't necessarily look to other painters or to other artists or other movements for inspiration. I look to the stuff that's happening around me for inspiration. The show that is up at the moment is titled Polynesia and it's a two person show with myself and Kathy Lazar. And we were just hanging out in her studio the one day and kind of thinking a little bit about what to title the show and what a good departure point would be. And we were looking through some books and some magazines and we found a book by a guy by the name of Henry Matisse, which was titled Polynesia. And it was basically exploring the works and the time that he was there and the, the things that he, he did and was inspired by. And I think the exhibition for us and for myself I looked a lot at sort of the natural elements and the natural environment and not having been there, it sort of, I had brief uh, points of reference that I could use from things that I found at the library and a few things here and there on the internet and looking at a few books um, and those kind of triggered things for me so um, the, the work really kind of flows out of that for me. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. The work kind of took more of a spontaneous uh, process, which I really enjoyed. Um, so she would have a turn, I would have a turn, she would have a turn, I would have a turn. We'd step back, look at it, kind of speak to each other about what we were seeing, what we weren't seeing, what needed to be there, what had to go, colour-wise, composition-wise. I think our processes are quite different in, in that I tend to work from a very basic layer on top of things and what she does is she kind of just goes for it and then blocks out parts that she doesn't want whether whereas when when they're parts that I don't want I just paint around them and kind of incorporate them a little bit more. I was never trained as a painter so all my life when I have been painting and drawing I've been using things that were easily available to me and through that I started to discover different mediums work better for different techniques um, which leads me to use different mediums for different effects within a painting. Um, the majority of my work is water based and then combined with spray paint so I use watercolors and acrylic paints and that kind of thing and then incorporate them with the oils that you get with the spray paint. Matthew Hindley's work, I really like Michael Taylor's work, and Andrew Sutherland, Andrew Rabansky. I think we could promote local artists work better by having more touch points in terms of exposure to international audiences. Things like residencies that I've been on I think have been quite beneficial to me just in terms of getting to know people from other parts of the world. I think if, if the process in terms of getting sponsorships and grants for doing exhibitions and projects was maybe a little bit easier and if there were more opportunities for that I think it could definitely benefit people who are painting in a local context.
context and my instinct to take the work overseas.